All right, welcome back to Small Business Quick Wins presented by Thrive. And I'm excited today because I am going to learn stuff because I am clueless when it comes to bookkeeping and accounting. And it's obviously a really important topic. So today we have a special guest. Danielle Hayden is here and she's super smart. She does all the accounting stuff her company does for small businesses. Kickstart Accounting is a leading bookkeeping and accounting firm for small businesses. And she's going to take us through some pitfalls to avoid, some tips that small business owners need to know for their accounting and bookkeeping. So Danielle, welcome to Small Business Quick Wins. Super excited to be here. Amazing. So before we get into some of the pitfalls and tips and all this stuff, who is Danielle? Why are you able to get through financial accounting, which I struggled with so badly in college? I thought I was going to fail out of school. How did you arrive where you are now? Some people get it and some people don't. It's just like accounting lever. You either have it or you don't. <laughs> I do not, for the record. <laughs> so as business owners, you don't have to know how to do the bookkeeping. You don't need to know how to do the accounting, but you need to know how to understand the numbers. So we'll talk about that. But I started Kickstart Accounting nine years ago. I was a CPA, CFO, and I said, I'm going to take everything that I've learned working with the board of directors, management team, the CEOs of these big companies, and we're going to take these strategies to small business, use bookkeeping as a vehicle to help small business owners make better business decisions. I want every single entrepreneur to grow a healthy, sustainable, profitable business. They're saying that no, not all heroes wear capes. And I think that you're one of those people because a lot of times when people like learn how to do accounting and they have access to these big companies and boards and all this stuff, they want to work for even bigger companies and bigger companies. But you went reverse and you said, no, I want to help out small business owners, which is who we care about on this show. So you are awesome. Excellent. So let's dig into, okay, I'm a small business owner. I own an HVAC company. I barely know how to use Excel. I hope I'm paying my taxes or I don't know. Tell me, what are things when you encounter small business owners that like something they're just doing horribly wrong or they need to focus on? Where do we begin? So the first things first is separate your business and personal. That is the number one issue I see small business owners making is not having separate accounts for your business checking account, credit cards and your personal checking account and credit cards. We need to have that 100% separate. From a legal perspective, it's called piercing the corporate veil. From an accounting perspective, we need to have clear, clean bookkeeping. So if you're ever audited, it's super clear. And you as the business owner need to get help in your business. I never want a business owner ever to do their own bookkeeping. Your job as a business owner is to understand the numbers and to use it to make business decisions. So your job is to keep the transaction super clean so that your bookkeeper can come in and create the financial statements that then your tax accountant will use to file your taxes and that you will use to come in and lead your organization. So obviously someone could hire somebody like you, which is great. Okay. But a lot of small business owners, maybe they want to bring on a bookkeeper in their company. If you're trying to hire somebody, you're trying to figure out, do I have the right person on my team? What makes somebody a good bookkeeper versus somebody that's like, this person's clueless? That they actually know what they're doing, right? The, the bookkeeping industry, especially, right? It's not like the tax industry. In taxes, you have to have your CPA or your EA. So you have a qualification. And even with that qualification, all tax accounts aren't created equal. Bookkeepers, if you have your cousin, brother, mother, sister, aunt, guy down the street, my neighbor, it's probably not being done to the standard in which it should be. Also, if you're not getting regular financial statements. So when we work with our clients, not only do we do the bookkeeping according to our proprietary framework, like we have an entire strategic framework that we use with our clients. So the way we set up QuickBooks, the way we do the bookkeeping, at the end of each month, we send the financial statements with an easy to read PDF that we call the snapshot. So it's this high level overview so that you as a business owner, like literally 
I want you to have to do nothing more than open an email on your phone. Like I want you to be able to see it on your phone and say, cool, I know exactly where my business stands. It doesn't take any more time for my bookkeeping and accounting than that. Like now I start to think about what this business decisions I want to make. So is your bookkeeper sending you regular reports and what checks and balances do you have in place to make sure that they're doing it right? Is your bookkeeper also the person that is running your payroll, overseeing the benefits in your company? Is the bookkeeper doing that as well? No. So they are actually two very different skill sets. And I think a lot of times we bunch all of these together and we expect our bookkeeper to do all of that. We do help our clients with setting up payroll. We can answer some payroll questions, but your bookkeeper is not your benefits administrator. Your bookkeeper is not your assistant. Your bookkeeper is not your payroll administrator. That is, when we expect one person to be our admin of everything, we're asking them to be outside of their wheelhouse. So when we work with our clients, we only do bookkeeping and then payroll because we're not actually certified to be your HR broker you need a benefits broker who's going to help you with your benefits. We see that a lot with tax accounts too, these poor tax accounts, because they're small businesses first hire. Like most often, the first person you need is a tax accountant because we all have to pay taxes and die. Two things that are guaranteed in life. Right. And so then we go to our poor tax accountant and we're asking them every question. So they turn into HR, payroll, our therapist, our business coach, and guess what their qualification is? To file the darn tax return. So we want to really respect our bookkeeper's qualifications. Our bookkeeper is our bookkeeper, and they need to be really great at bookkeeping. So you're calling my mind a little bit, and I feel like I should have known this, and maybe a lot of other small business owners out there don't realize it, but you shouldn't go to who's doing your bookkeeping to run your 401k, mm -hmm. to do your taxes, that's what I'm getting out of what you're saying. And I'm imagining if you do, and I think a lot of small business owners probably do that, I would imagine you're probably, if they're not a tax expert, you're probably leaving a lot of money on the table. Or if they're exactly. not an expert in 401k, whatever, then the people that are working for you are probably not getting the greatest benefit. Is that a fair way to look at it? That is so fair. And thank you for saying that. So if you are not using a tax strategist, so when people work with our tax division, we have tax strategists and CPAs on our team. If you're working with somebody who's doing everything for you, guess what? They can't be an expert in both. There has to be checks and balances and there has to be a bookkeeping expert, a tax expert. I don't want anyone to ever land themselves in trouble that you are not following the correct rules of the 401k because you have your neighbor who thinks that they did the 401k for a company 20 years ago and that they know how to manage your, your 401k. Guess what? They don't. It's a different licensure. It's a different qualification. So we need an HR benefits person. We need a 401k team. These are all outsourced positions. So I'm not asking you to go hire all these people. It's going to cost you a million dollars. These are all outsourced positions that we can find very qualified people to help us in those very specific areas. And then you might have an office manager or an assistant who's bringing everything together and managing it for you, but your bookkeeper is not your assistant. So they should not be the ones managing that for you. So one last thing about the function of the bookkeeper, does the bookkeeper do collections? They can do collections. We often say that we are happy to be the bad guy for our clients. You can have your bookkeeper doing invoicing and collections. Absolutely. So that's okay. That's fine. Yes. There's yes. no taxes. There's no, no taxes. They're qualified to do that. So okay. anything that's in that bookkeeping realm. So we want the bookkeeper managing QuickBooks. We want them uh, paying. They could pay bills on your behalf. They could, they could be collecting for you. They could be invoicing your clients because that's all within a bookkeeping traditional function within QuickBooks. Your bookkeeper's job is to manage your accounting system and then deliver high level financial statements to you, the business owner. I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. So now I'm curious, you, somebody comes to you, small business owner, and they say to you, I am a disaster. I can't, I don't even know. I got a shoe box of stuff mm -hmm. I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And they go, take a look at what I'm doing and tell me how, what you would do. I'm imagining you get a lot of people that are disasters that come to you. 
So what is the most common disaster that you see? You're like, we have to, other than separating out personal from business, from a business standpoint, what is the thing that people are doing wrong with the most that you have to correct out of the gate? That's the story that we're telling ourselves. So a lot of people will say, I need to get organized before I can work with you. I need to get organized before I can take the next step. I always tell people, don't wait to get organized. Let us help you get organized and set together the right systems because you're always going to be organized. You're always going to be on organized because that's not your in your personality to be able to think in that way. So don't let the story behind yourself, like, oh, this person's going to judge me. This person's going to think I'm crazy for spending all this money at Dunkin' Donuts or just put the ego aside and let your team help get you organized and then be your accountability partner. We tell our clients all the time, we are your accountability partner. We're going to call you out on the BS. When we see you commingling business and personal and putting things in there, that really shouldn't be in there. We're going to say something. If we see that you're slipping and sliding down the wrong direction, we're going to call you out and say, hey, let's come back to this side. Let's stay organized. Let's stay clean. Yeah, that's so true, though, because it's not just with on the accounting side. It's almost anything. You're like, before you onboard any type of vendor or any type of person to help you out, you always feel like you have to step up your game a little bit. And that's not really necessarily the case. So I think it's really valuable input. All right. The last segment of this thing of this podcast of small business quick wins is you've given a lot of great advice, but we like to share what is the worst advice or what is terrible advice that you have received in your career where somebody's like, you should do this, or this is the absolute, you must do this. And it turns out that that was ridiculous. Does anything come to mind that was just epically horrible that people should just not do? I'm like, how much time do you have? We're supposed to do quick wins here. And then you ask me that question. I think the big one that I see is that you need to know how to do something in order to hire somebody to do it. That would be like me saying, I need to know how my air conditioning and furnace work in order for me to call you to come out and fix it. That doesn't even make sense. So as a business owner, you don't need to know how to operate QuickBooks in order to hire somebody. You don't need to understand the tax code before you hire a tax accountant. That is the biggest myth that I've seen is that you need to know how to do everything in your business, especially before you hire somebody. Now, if you're hiring an employee, I think that's a little bit different, right? You're hiring an employee, you need to be the one to show them what your expectations are. That's why I suggest outsourcing for a lot of these roles, because you don't need to be the expert. You're the expert in what you do. Let other people come in to be the experts in what they do. Dude, that is great because I feel that. I, always, I That is the emotion I feel that I feel like I need to know a lot before I bring somebody on. And it's, you're right. That makes no sense. I can't fix my air conditioning. I, I would be unbelievable. Oh, uh, All right. Before we wrap up, I want everybody to be able to find Danielle Hayden. I want everyone to find Kickstart Accounting. Where do they track you down? How do they find you? What do they do? Kickstart Accounting Inc. is the website. We have our podcast, Business by the Books. So if you are a business owner struggling to understand what to do with the numbers, we cover our topic every single Tuesday. So Business by the Books. If you need help in your business, come and book a call. We are here to be a resource for small business. I wake up jumping out of bed every day, eager to help entrepreneurs grow and thrive. That is fantastic. And I cannot believe you jump out of bed to talk about accounting stuff. That is like wild mind-blowing thing to hear but more power to you because we need you in this universe because somebody's got to figure out how to do this stuff it ain't gonna be me so i can't thank you enough for being here danielle you are awesome everybody check out kickstartaccountinginc.com and uh, thanks for being here for small business quick wins thank you